Hello and welcome to this One Thing, a daily video devotional coming to you from First Presbyterian Church of Fort Lauderdale. And together we'll be looking at one text and choosing one thing for you to consider. And, and we hope that you find this a thought-provoking, encouraging part of your day. In the last several days, I've, I've seen a number of posts on social media politicizing the decision um, to wear or to not wear face coverings when in public. And it's at the very least interesting to me how we ever ended up in a place where uh, wearing or not wearing a mask is a political statement. Because I, I, I do think that, that most people would agree that, that it shouldn't be a, a political decision, uh, that really the decision to wear a mask or, or to not wear a mask should 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 have everything to do with social context and and medical data and 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 who's around us. It should have nothing to do with politics. It's interesting though, right? I mean so how how do we decide? Now our scripture today it deals with issues of faith and of courage. And I think it's informative as to how we might approach this question of to mask or not to mask. We find Jesus returning to his hometown and, and we read that some people, they bring to Jesus a paralyzed man lying on a bed. Now, this is the same story that's told in the Gospel of Mark in which a group of friends, they lower the paralyzed man down through the roof of a house in order to to get their friend in front of Jesus. And and here in, in, in the book of Matthew, for whatever reason, uh, Matthew chooses to, to leave that detail out. And they, they bring their friend in front of Jesus, and, and Jesus heals the man. Uh, he also tells the man that, that his sins have been forgiven. Jesus does both of these things, and he does them in response to the actions of the man's friends, the healing, the forgiveness. It's all in response to what these friends have done. As I mentioned in, in, in the Gospel of Mark, we learn that, that these actions include lowering the man through a roof. The, the friends, they act with courage. They act boldly in, in order to, to get their friend in front of Jesus. The scholar um, Dale Bruner uh, writes that the friends act seemingly indifferent to social consequences, adding that you know, de-roofing is anti-social. These friends, they, they act with disregard for what those around them might think. So is, is, is that what Jesus is applauding? Is he applauding this bold demonstration, the disassembling of a roof? that they act, they are bold, they go against the grain, and, and so they are rewarded. However, though they are courageous, it says that Jesus rewards them for their faith. Their, their, their courageous act is, is, is really a demonstration of their faith. The, the text says that, that when Jesus saw their faith, he responds. It's so. Is is that it? Is 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 it this this act of courage that is a demonstration of faith? I, I I think to really understand what's going on here, that we need to dig deeper. To understand what it is that makes them disassemble a roof, is is that what they're rewarded for? Or. Are they rewarded for loving their friend so much that they're willing to do whatever it takes to find a way to heal him? They, they hear this Jesus might be able to help, and, and, and loving their friend, they're unafraid of the social consequences of taking a roof apart. Are they ultimately rewarded for love? So here's the one thing, friends, is as we consider whether to wear a mask or not, I, I don't know what the right answer is for you in each and every situation, but I think the question that the text begs us to ask ourselves, rather than 
which is right and which is wrong or which is left and which is right. It's what action can I take that is an expression of bold, faithful love for my friends and those around me. Be safe. Be well. We'll see you tomorrow.